Ladies and gentlemen, it has happened. The Milwaukee Bucks are NBA champions for the first time in 50 years, led by Giannis Antetokounmpo and a bunch of other guys. Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez, and others as well that played in six games that the Bucks dominated the last four. Well, actually, not really. Not really. I, I honestly, if we're being completely honest, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, and Jake Router. The Suns choked this game, choked the series away. They had this series. The Suns had this series in five games. I'm not even going to lie to you. They should have won this series in five. I think game three, they, they did get overpowered in game three a little bit, but game four and five, games four and five, yeah. Suns should have won this series on Saturday night. But instead, they choked it away multiple times. And they even had a lead in this game six that they choked away and couldn't recover from. I, I don't even know where to begin. Um, game six had some ref ball, of course. You know, just some just some nagging ref ball that, you know, gets on my nerves, you know. Especially, you know, people like to accuse other teams of home cooking because it, it was problem. Maybe could have been some home cooking. You never know. But ref ball is bad regardless of which side you were on. So, you know, it is what it is there. But the Bucks, you know, you know, of course I named all these other guys that, that were doing their part for Milwaukee, but really it was the Giannis show. It was the Giannis show 40 points plus in like four straight games. Just dominant. Suns could not defend him. Suns, you know, they, they double teamed him. They put eight on him. They, they triple teamed him. Couldn't do anything to stop him. And, you know, I said Suns and six, but instead we got Bucks and six. I mean, I did say the Bucks played tough, and they really played tough the entire series. And just at the end of the day, overpowered the Suns with a healthy dose of Giannis. Giannis is going to win the Finals MVP, and there is no doubt about that. And the Bucks are going to ride high into next season as NBA champions for the second time in their history. Crazy stuff, right? You know, I mean, this could have been you know one of the last opportunities for Chris Paul to really get a ring. This is a guy that definitely deserves a ring, you know. He's he's played hard, but he didn't have enough in the tank, you know. There were a couple times where he faltered, a couple times where Devin Booker faltered, especially shooting the ball, Chris Paul with the turnovers. I mean, it was just some just some bad, bad, tough decisions, you know, on both sides of the ball. You know, I mean Milwaukee had turnovers aplenty. We're not even. We're not even going to talk about how many turnovers they had. They've had turnovers so many times. I mean, they were like it. They were like they had like seven turnovers at the end of the first quarter, something like that. And the Suns really couldn't capitalize to the point where they were down by 13. They were down. They just could. The Suns at the end of the day just did not have enough defense to stop Giannis. They went small at times. They couldn't. They couldn't. You know. They couldn't figure it out. They couldn't figure out what to do with the Greek Creek. And it's, it really is a shame. It really is a shame for the Suns. You know, They really should have won the series in five games. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. It should have been over Saturday night. We could have been talking about something else. <laughs> but instead, the Bucks, congratulations to them. They have you know, captured their first NBA title in 50 years. Giannis gets to ride off with and with the finals MVP, you know, Eastern Conference Finals MVP, you know, more accolades this year and stuff like that. And at championship he gets to hold up that, that prestigious NBA title trophy along with the rest of the Bucks. 
and Milwaukee is going to be celebrating for weeks and weeks on end, let me tell you that. And the NBA season, just like that, is over. What an interesting season we got through, because this was a weird period where, you know, we, coming off the bubble in Corona, and we shifted forward to, you know, this new season that started in December, which I actually prefer the regular season to start in late December now. It just works out better, and then we can end in late August. You know, it's preferably before that Saturday, you know, that week zero Saturday. Could be that Sunday, you know, the day after week zero too, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, yeah, things this year really, the story of this year was injuries. Injuries really plagued a lot of teams. It, it plagued teams. We're talking 72 games this year that got shoved into seven months instead of eight. Yeah, I'd rather not seven months. I'm talking about it during the regular season. So that got, so those 72 games got shoved into f about five months or so. A little, little over five months, I think. But at the same time, you know, that was a bit too much. Maybe I could have, you know, move this out a little bit further, but who knows what would happen, you know, if we move the season back another month and we have the NBA Finals in August instead of now. But you never know. For the Suns and for the Bucks, this was an improbable matchup to really even consider. You know, I did not consider this matchup for months. Did not, did not even think it was going to happen. I thought it was going to be, you know, something typical, like the Lakers and the Nets. But in the end, both those teams got rattled by injuries and, you know, general competence by both. But man, never expected this finals matchup to happen. And it just goes to show you the miracles of sports are just crazy to look at crazy to watch unfold and it's going to be crazy to see you know if you live in Milwaukee and you're watching this video you know have fun tonight have fun for the rest of the week you guys deserve it all man you guys deserve it all you know and I mean that that's just all that's just my spiel you know that's all I gotta say you know really so we've done it once again Another NBA season wrapped up, and, you know, I won't be talking about the NBA for a while, so, you know, I won't be talking about it until, like, maybe, like, October, uh, at least. Maybe October, and watch me probably not even mention the NBA until, like, December, or even after December again, like I usually do, because that's the way the NBA wants to do it. The NBA wants to do it that way, so be it. There's no, there's no dust coming off my shoulders. It's just, whew. it is what it is, man. It is what it is, and that's all I gotta say about it. So, that being said, everybody, hope y'all take care, and we will have a good rest of our week because now I don't have anything else planned for the rest of the week. So. And that's a good timing, too, because I'm working like crazy, probably going to be working like crazy the rest of the week. So, um, yeah. I'll see you all in the next video, which will probably be, you know, sometime this, later this week, maybe. Maybe there might be something later this week. So that's why I said, you know, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes peeled. But the other scheduled videos and stuff like that, you know, as usual, they usually come what they usually come. So... Y'all have a good night. To all those in Milwaukee, have fun tonight. You know, go celebrate. You guys earned it. For Phoenix, you know, pick your heads back up. Go on ahead and come over and back next year. Come on back next year stronger than ever if you want it. If you really want a ring, Phoenix, if you really want a ring, you better come on back next year. But anyway, congrats to Milwaukee. See y'all in the next video, everybody. Take care.